I'm gonna show you guys how to do a chlorine test using the DR300 machine. So first you're gonna grab your sample into the glass vial. You're gonna rinse it out. Make sure the leftover residue from the last sample is all gone. And fill it to the 10 milliliter mark. Close it up. Make sure you use a soft towel to wipe off any of the water that may have stayed there. You're gonna close the lid, make sure that there's no light coming in. When you turn it on, you're gonna calibrate it using this blue button. Once you get the zeros, you can get that out. And you're gonna add two packets of the powder reagent. If there's no chlorine, you'll be able to tell because it won't change color to a pinkish color. Depending on how intense that pink is, you will be able to tell how, how high or low your chlorine is at. So you, you want to line up the diamond to this triangle. Again, you're gonna close it, make sure there's no light coming in. And then you press the test button. That's a 3.8. So I just rinsed it off and I'm going to show you how to dilute it in case you get an error screen. So this basically will only test up to 8.8. .8. If it's any higher than 8.8, .8, you'll have to dilute it using 5 milliliters of the chlorine, 5 milliliters of just water. If it's still too high using the half and half, uh, there's a line here for 2.5 milliliters. So we're going to try that. Again, make sure your syringe is all clean. You're gonna add your two and a half milliliters of the chlorine. Fill the rest to the 10 milliliter mark with regular water. Wipe off any of the excess water on the outside match the diamond with the triangle calibrate that till you get a zero get your packets ready you see how much lighter that is it means it's gonna it's gonna read a lot lower than it did with the non-diluted sample. So you test that, and you get 1.3. So you're gonna get that number and multiply it by four. Since you deleted, deleted since you diluted it to 2.5. If you're only diluting to five milliliters, then you will multiply your result times two. If you have any more questions, ask Randy.